the tone. At the tone, coordinated universal time will be... Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream patter was me pretending to be the WWV talking clock. Uh, which I don't even know if it exists anymore. Okay, so I did a little bit of stuff for without you guys. I won't apologize for that because basically my streams are boring and the less you see the better. Uh, last time we were looking at having Google index our pages, which it did. It did, ind it did index uh, this, this uh, page here, which I guess we can bring up right here. And of course, Google is unhappy because it's not mobile friendly. Now, I'm not mobile friendly either, uh, but apparently uh, we want to be, I, I don't, I like, I dislike, you know, basically, I think that's really the issue. I don't want care if I'm mobile fr friendly or not, but I dislike having red exclamation points, or I guess white exclamation points with a red background. It pisses me off. Okay, so we need to fix these two, you know, and we'll have the incidental effect of making it mobile friendly, but the more important effect of getting rid of these stupid exclamation points. Okay, so the clickable elements too close together, I could sort of see a way to fix that. But, um, but the other stuff, I have no idea what the hell it means. And it is Pomodoro time, but it, this is the first one. We'll skip it as always. Um, I don't even know what this means. Let's look what this means. Oh, well, that doesn't help at all. Um, that's awesome. It won't tell me what a viewport is. But of course, we should probably go and you know use some sort of search engine <laughs> to figure this stuff out. Um, so let's actually be a little bit more stupid and say, how can I make my page mobile friendly? Okay, one way to do it is to hire this guy. Um, Hostgator, which is a decent, uh, decent uh, hosting service I've heard, never actually used it. Okay, um, and I'm going to try to speak up a little bit because I realized recently that when I upload my videos to YouTube, YouTube will create a uh, English caption, will create captioning for them in multiple languages, but I think English is the primary one and then they translate. And at some point I would like to post the transcripts of these videos because it wastes even more space uh, on the internet. Not a lot of space, mind you, but again, the wider you can set your crap radius, the better. So. In addition to having the videos on YouTube, I will have the transcripts of the videos probably on the uh, on the BC pa Git pages uh, page that we're looking at now. Okay, so now let's. Um, um, okay, so none of this stuff is really that useful. This might be actually let's do the viewport meta tag. Um, well. This looks like it is pretty easy. Okay. Will this fix all my problems? Well, oh, if only. Alrighty. Okay. So now the question, this might actually fix other problems bizarrely just because having the, uh, the, the uh, page scale to the device might help. Now let's see if how nice Google is about, um, okay. That's nice, I thought this was gonna charge us money to try to test the live URL. Um, ooh. So let's see if we still have all three issues now. I think we, we definitely have a viewport now. Uh, viewport not set, whoa, hello. Yes it is, oh, fuck me. Because, of course, this is only updating it locally, I need to push it to the Git pages, and then after that I actually need to wait a little bit um, because it takes a bit to, to update. So let me go ahead and do this update. Uh, and for once I'm going to actually, and I know you can't see what I'm doing, for once I'm actually going to use a, a meaningful commit, which is viewport added, which is what I've done. So now, yeah, this could, this could be very painful because every time I make a change, I have to update it, I have to update GitHub, and then wait for GitHub to uh, to basically get the new version. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I want view source, view source, damn you. And you can see the view source isn't there yet. Reload's still not there. 
So one thing we're looking at now is thinking maybe is there a faster way to check for page friendliness uh, without having to go uh, without having to wait several minutes every time we make a change. Uh, and still not there. I, I can do a shift shift control reload. Woo! And nothing. Okay, so this is this is a clearly we have th this issue here that we that we don't like. Um, I don't know if we can we can edit files directly on GitHub site. I know we can do that, but the question is, will that update the the pages right away? But I don't think even that will work because there is a deployment delay. I mean these these pages are okay. Oh, that is not that is not happy with that meta tag. Oh my God! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pretend like that's okay. The only thing we care about is that Google stops giving me those nasty exclamation points. Um, okay, so at least the viewport not set. Oh, can I not test it live again? Oh, hang on. Uh, HTML. Uh oh. Hang on, I may have annoyed Google to the point I can't do any more live tests. View tested page. Um, oh wow, so how many live calls do I get per day? Not many apparently, <laughs> maybe just this one. Okay, tested on, oh, hang on. Retest URL. Okay, so they're pretty nice about letting me retest it, uh, which is nice. Ooh, still not good. So we have, okay, that doesn't really help me. Page is not mobile friendly because, what the hell? The viewport is set, you fucking morons. Oh, wait, is it? There it is. Okay, so meta name equals contents equals da 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 da. This is the only thing that's two things that are wrong with this is that there's no ending tag to it, and they apparently want to dock type HTML in front of it. Okay, so we could make that change here, uh, but it's getting a little bit ugly to have to check everything from Git because every time we make a change, um, it takes a while to for that change to propagate, and that's certainly not the kind of behavior we want. Um, so I've got a couple of servers lying around, you know, just like everyone does. Um, but I'm not sure if we can use them because there is a trust issue, meaning I don't trust you, and therefore this machine that I'm using as a VM does not tr uh, have trust to my, um, to my online servers. Uh, there are other issues, but they're less important. Um, so... How are we going to do this? We need a place to basically upload HTML, or it can be, it's there instantly-ish, uh, and, um, and it's free because I really don't want to log into any sort of a paid account. Um, so GitHub Pages does free web hosting, as they, as they advertise, but unfortunately it's not instant change. I mean, we're getting into really some ugly issue here. Um, so let's, let's go crazy here. Oh dear, Wix, free web hosting, this is, um, okay, well this, this looks, I, I've heard of Wix before, this looks dangerous, um, I think though there's a limit to what you can do with their free hosting, and let me see if I already have a Wix, Wix account, I like saying the word Wix. Um, don't think I do actually. Um, I do not. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um, oh, this is where it gets, cr I'm going to go ahead and use my Barry Carter info, not the new character that I created because they don't have a domain. Um, and the password here is going to be something I'm not going to tell you because, well, I mean, really, 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 really. It doesn't really matter, but still, because this is one thing you actually could abuse. Ah. Hang on, damn it! Okay. 
some reason Firefox is being nasty. And then we do Oh great, I have to do it twice now. Um Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, my good friend? I will see what you're saying in just a minute after I type this ugly password that I will probably have uh, Firefox remember. Barry is back. Well, no, Fierce Crocodile is back. I, oh, you are too kind, sir. I actually think I was doing the community a favor uh, by not being here. And I think the, uh, the, the um, uh, the, but, okay, no, I want to skip this. I'm going to just get basically to the fucking, I'm going to screw you guys over as fast as possible. Um, okay, so I've got a template. So this is, again, looking really bad here. In fact, I don't know if they're going to let me edit my files directly either. So this might have been a horrible idea. Um, ooh, neural networks, very exciting neural networks. Um, very, very cool sort of thing. I don't, uh, I guess I'll ask you since you're here, do you know of any programs that sort of show you a cool way of, sim I know how neural networks work. Um, that steers the direction t towards a better mood. Well, that, that's not, that's not a very good chat. I think the chatbot you should create should steer people in the direction of committing suicide. Because um, there are a lot of suicide helplines out there, but th the name is a lie. Um, because I, I called one of those. Well, I tried to work at one of those, actually. And they said, you know, I want to work. I wanna su it, they don't help you commit suicide. They're not suicide headlines, uh, hotlines. They are anti-suicide hotlines. And I think that is a very deceptive, uh, deceptive name for them. Because, you know, because um, I helped you guys commit suicide before they stopped me. So anyway, that's a little bit gruesome. Uh, and not true, obviously. Um, yeah, neural networks are pretty simple in the way they work. They're basically a bunch of boxes that you fill with fluids. When there's enough fluid, it spits out the fluid to something else, um, and then the fluid gets reuptaked. It's it's basically like the the way the brain works. Obviously, that's why it's called the neural network. Um, do you want to teach me about neural networks here on this stream? Because otherwise, we're gonna be heading towards um, towards basically you know stuff I want to do, which is death. Basically, I'm trying to get Google to. Uh, uh, I'm trying to show how to get, no, not really. Well, screw you then. No, I'm just kidding. I still love you uh, slightly less than I did two minutes ago. Uh, it's just a bunch of matrices. Well, yes, 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 yes. Um, well, it is actually. It's a bunch of transformation matrices, transfer matrices. Um, there's other ways of doing it, obviously, but um, uh, the matrices, I assume, show connectivity between the various nodes. Um, it would be cool to see a, um, it would be, maybe, it would be cool to see like a neural network in sort of watching the fluids flow. Do you know of any product that or thing that does that? In other words, you fill something up, it goes past the, uh, there's a name for it when a, when a, a neuron becomes, has too much um, a neurotransmitter and it spits it out into the, uh, uh, the neural pathways. Um, but do you have anything like that? Because if you don't, I might add it to my to-do list. Um, let me let me do that. Let me go ahead and add it. Unless you're going to give me one right now, because I am like that. I'm going to add it to my. Um, 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 so we could do something with neural networks. That'd be fun. Um, just okay. Uh, activation function. Okay, now I'm not sure what you're. This is good. We've reached the point where I've, I've confused you and hopefully everybody else. That which is you. Um, okay. To me, a neural network is like a bunch of nodes uh, that have a quantity of fluid in them at any given time. When the fluid exceeds a given amount, the neural network, the the neuron, you know, each node will send the fluid to another neuron based on some formula. Am I correct or am I way off topic here? And as we wait, there is a four second delay put in place because I have no idea why. Uh, some people don't seem to have it, but for whatever reason, 
after I say something, it takes people four seconds to hear it. Um, and so I don't, I don't, so we basically have a four second, okay. Artificial, I'm talking about artificial neural networks too, uh, but they work very much like brain networks, right? Well, you know what? Since this isn't gonna help us any, let's take a look at a neural network. Um, yeah, this is how I see a neural network. Um, give me, show me image. Um, okay, none of these are good, pa there we go. Okay, uh, each circular node represents, well, let's, let's, an artificial neuron connection to the output, okay. Um, well, I mean, hidden only in the sense that, I mean, it's not hidden to us, it's hidden to the end user. Um, right. But I guess, okay, so I guess here's my question. You put in the input, um, so you put in a value here, somehow the net, the, the, um, your neural network decides what number goes here and what number goes here from the input, is that correct? Or is this, this number isn't simply copied to these two obviously because there's other inputs also. Um, okay, that's still a little bit more than I am asking for at the moment. I'm just saying that basically, when after the input's all good and ready to go, how do we compute this hidden value? I mean, this is a very simple neural network, obviously. Um, these arrows don't mean we just add them, right? I mean, you could put this arrow at like 0 0.4, 0 0.6. There's different ways to get this hidden number, correct? Well, it can be matrix multiplication. But I mean, it doesn't have, matrix, w w we can build up the matrix multiplication from what we're trying to do. I like to understand things at the basic level and then say, oh, here's why we need matrix multiplication to do that. Um, so I assume it's a linear comb, when, whenever we have these arrows, it's a linear combination of the inputs, is that correct? Because if it's not linear, we can't really use matrix multiplication. It's linear algebra. So, um, so my thinking here is each, every time you have an arrow that something goes to something else, um, it's, it's a linear sort of, yes, you put in the matrix multiplication, what the hell? Okay, now you've totally lost me. The hyperbolic tangent function is really cool, but I don't know how it comes up here. Um, okay, I'll let you think. This is a, uh, a first on my stream, usually we do not encourage people to think. I certainly don't think. I haven't thought since the 1970s. Yes, you can say that, but I'm saying even a matrix is, is a eventually a set of numbers. Um, so my question is, okay, you compute the layer, work with, you see, I, and I still, you're saying matrix multiplication, I get it, I understand what you're saying, but let's go back a step. Let's, let's just, I mean, matrix multiplication is a simple way of doing, you know, is a way of doing something else. I wanna know what the something else is. So, oh man. Sigmoid, sigmoid, 10H, non-linearity. I'm, I'm still stuck at the matrix multiplication part. I guess the question I'm asking you, very simply, um, so you put in your inputs first, is that correct? Let's, let's just start at the basics. You start in, someone puts in some input. And input, of course, is a wonderful substance. Uh, the act of, see, I'm, I'm, I'm really, so you want to see, okay, totally lost now. I mean, I'm not totally lost. I sort of get this. I'm trying to understand it at a lower level though. Um, okay, yeah, still trying to understand it at a lower level. I mean, a matrix, matrices is how you create linear combinations. I know that. My question though is simpler. My question is, again, not, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love you, I think you're a wonderful person, um, and I'm sure that as a reptile you are very good, but I wanna know about sort of the basics of neural networks. In a very sort of abstract way, 
how do we find this? Are these numbers for one thing? Are these numbers or are they something other than numbers? Uh, okay, softmax, good. We're going softmax, hyperbolic tangent. We had a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Uh, activation, nonlinearity. Good words, I like them. Um, but I, I, I think I'm a step, I think I'm maybe 10 or 15 steps behind where you are. I'm at the point of asking you what is a neural network? Um, because I thought I knew what a neural network was, and yep, sure, why not? W minus I. You know, now we're just going to make up symbols. Now I, I'm okay. I understand what you're trying to do. I, I know you're trying to help, and I appreciate it. Um, but I think maybe um, for me, I need a primer on what a, a neural network is because I thought I knew. So okay, yep. But that's not what it is. I mean, that's how you do one. But what is a neural network? It's basically uh, uh, the we the we hits. Okay, Jesus Christ. So we're not we're not really getting anywhere here. I I still want to know what the basics are. How can you explain what a neural network is in simple terms? If you want, you can come onto Discord and uh, join this uh, join us in audio. Um, I'm going to skip the Pomodoro this time because I'm talking to someone. Um, yep, skipping that Pomodoro because we have an important visitor in the chat. Uh, the important visitor is Nightbot, but we also have Fierce Crocodile in here, who is a less important visitor, I force kid. Um, if you want to join, uh, where is Discord? Okay, hang on, let me let me get you to my Discord channel. Uh, well, I mean, wait, you can just get onto Discord and um, and hit me. I think we're friends on, on Discord, so hang on. I don't know how this is going to work, though. This, this, could, this could be very ugly. Um, Okay, L I will tell you who I am on Discord. Uh, I'm Barry Carter number 1894. So this this could get very ugly because I don't know how to get Discord. Um, so this is me on Discord. I think uh, you're, I'm already on your friend list. Um, so just give me a call and we can... This is going to fuck up really badly, the audio, because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um... But somehow I've managed to get my audio kind of working. Um, well, I mean, it, it'll probably be easier over audio. At least you can, uh, at least I'll maybe understand over audio, and then we could confuse our audience. Um, so I, I, yeah, you, if you can just tell me, I don't know if you want to tell me your alias on, you know, because this is public. But um, no, I'm also on Hangouts, but I'm that's. No, no. Hangouts, I'm, this is just my email address at Hangouts. We can do that, too. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, but if you have a Discord, I am on Discord, and we can connect there as well. Uh, I, do I have a list of where I am on my page? Let me check real quick. I don't think I do, because that would be really useful. Uh, let's see. I have... Um, where is Discord? Uh, Discord is... Uh, discordapp.com If you don't have it, then this is going to mean nothing to you. Um, I would click that now, but I think it's just going to take me into my own Discord. Uh, which actually, maybe... I can't get audio from this machine. So if I go into Discord from this machine, it's not going to help us any. Um, but if you call me on Discord, I answer on my other machine, or I'm running Discord. Just, this is just a big fucking clusterfuck. This might be the definition of clusterfuck. Uh, we might we might have created clusterfuck. If you don't have it, let me know. I have okay, good, 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 good. So uh, log in however you would normally log in. Don't tell me, or if you want to, you can. It it does, but also if you friend add someone as a friend, you can talk to them directly. You don't have to go through a channel. Um, you can go directly to. So let me see if I I have you here because I kind of get the. I know we've talked on this before. Uh, and by that I mean we maybe have not. Um, well, I can't find you as free, uh, Fierce Crocodile, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, so if you want to go Google Hangouts, that's fine too. I mean, some way for us to connect by audio so you and I can talk. Um, I have... I, there should be a way... I have no idea if the, the, the people in on the stream can hear you. That's going to be the, the problem. Um, and honestly, now that I think about it, there will be a delay 
between what I do on the screen and what you see, but I think we can live with that. I, th I don't think that's a terrible, uh, that delay is, is survivable. Um, so anyway, let me know how you want to get on, and then you can explain neural networks to me and possibly to our studio audience, uh, who don't exist. Um, so, so let me know what you think. We're giving you an opportunity here. Fierce Crocodile, wonderful, marvelous person, uh, because he is watching my stream. If you are not watching my stream, but you're watching it later on Google, on YouTube rather, which is owned by Google, you two are, um, you two are a wonderful person. If you're not watching my stream, there's no way you could be hearing this. So really, it's like a quantum mechanical thing. Since you cannot observe my attitude towards you, it does not exist. Okay, if you're a crocodile, let me know where we're going with this. Um, um, if we can't do neural, at some point I do want to do neural networking here um, and see maybe my understanding of it is incorrect. The last time I heard about it was in the 1980s um, and I also have taken one course, I'm not an expert, one course in neurobiology and I sort of understand how the brain is like this, it's, it's kind of like how our economic system works. Things just keep moving around enough to keep things going even though there's like, you're just basically spending the same amount of neurotransmitter and just passing it around everywhere. Uh, whereas in our financial system, you only have so much money and you're passing it around everywhere. Um, but you can create fictional money to pass around as well, which is what the, uh, the Federal Reserve does through presumably with permission from Congress. Although some people in Congress have said we need to take back control of the Federal Reserve, which may be a good idea. Uh, I'm just going to ramble here for a few more seconds until we figure this out. And if we can't figure it out quickly, I will briefly return to trying to fix uh, Google Pages so it doesn't complain that my pages suck. Uh, my pages will continue to suck, but Google will not be aware of that suckitude. Um, and the way to do that is to create a, a, a free, uh, find a place where I can put web pages up that doesn't take forever to get uploaded. Um, and it occurs to me, um, and GitHub Pages certainly does does let you publish pages, but it's not instantaneously. And to be honest, I'm not sure uh, there is an instantaneous uh, publishing. I mean, we just found a free web page at Wix, but of course, Wix is going to want you to use that. Um, Wix is going to want you to use that to feed their platform, which is not. Oops. Okay, hang on. We have some we have some new input here from Fierce Crocodile. What are you trying to do? Is what working? I don't see anything on my Discord. I don't see any attempt to contact me. Uh, what are you? Where are you? Who are you? Where am I? I assume you're not working. Although if you're not walking, uh, you know, walking can be good exercise when it's spelled differently. Walking can also mean cooking something in a walk which you would do if you were uh, uh, either Japanese or Chinese, I forget which. Uh, or, of course, you could do it if you're American. I mean, there's no actual restriction based on your nationality. That's more commonly done uh, by, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Chinese or Japanese method of cooking. Okay, so I'm going to still, still keep going on this. I really do want to get back to this. Uh, but briefly, I'm going to try to find um, a free host that is... Um, Okay, we have more information here. You called me on Hangouts. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't do that yet. Give me a sec. No, no. If you want to call me on Hangouts, I need to go somewhere special. I mean, I need to go to my happy place. Uh, because my normal Hangouts won't work. So let me go to Hangouts here. Okay. Okay. All right, I am now on hang. Oh, cool. Try calling me on Hangouts now. I can see myself talking. It's so cool. That's okay. I just I didn't prepare shit either. Isn't that obvious? So um, go ahead and call me now, or if you want, I can call you. I don't remember what your screen name is, but now I'm on the special Google Hangouts that should allow people to call me, as opposed to the ugly Google Hangouts where people cannot call me. It is so cool. Every time I talk, this little gray thing comes around me circle. La, 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 la. Okay. 
Whenever you're ready. Uh. Huh? All right, hang on. Let me see if you are. Um, let me see if you are in my. Okay. Do you want to? Unfortunately, there's no way to give it to me privately at the moment. That's easy for both of us. Uh, I should have your. Yes, of course. There's there are many good alternatives for learning about neural networks. I want a bad one. I want to cross-examine you on neural networks uh, because I'm bored, and like you said, you're bored. Uh, and I'm trying to see if you're in my contact list. And if you are, you're not in as uh, you're not in as curious talk about. But that's not surprising. Um, okay, hang on. Invite people. Enter a name or email address. Well, that doesn't really help you any, does it? Um, if you want, you can email me your email address, and I could try adding you that way, because uh, my email is on a different page, and it's uh, on a different machine, and I'm not going to expose that here. Um, if you're on Discord, you could send me your email address there, although, again, um, that seems more complicated. So, um, hang on, there's, there's, a little, there's something going on here. Uh, hang on, well, okay. Let's so, so try that. I'm now trying to see what, what the hell, hang on. Shit. My Google is a fucking mess. I can tell you that. All right. Um, so I have a place here where I can add someone to the call, but I need to know who you are. Oh, shit. No, you didn't. Or if you did, I didn't get it. <sighs> okay, well, let me check my settings, I guess, but I'm pretty sure that um, bandwidth, that looks good. Um, oh, hang on, it says I'm on a call right now. Okay, oh, I'm confused. Okay, now try calling me, sorry. Okay, whoa, that, that, <laughs> damn it. No, no, <laughs> oh, please shoot me. For Discord, I need your, um, if you look at, if you're on Discord and you look at the, um, okay. If you're on Discord and you look at the very bottom of your Discord, it should say like your username and a number after it. Um, mine is Barry Carter eighteen ninety four. Um, S I. I don't know what S I is. Oh, or are you saying there, there's a lot of delay between when I talk and when you hear it? Um, well, you know, let me invite you to a Google Hangout through this address. I mean, probably not the best idea to have given everyone your, um, your, um, your email address, but, you know, no one watches this, so you're probably safe. Let me go ahead and invite you to this Hangout that I'm now creating. Uh, yes, allow, invite. God damn it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Actually, I think I can just add you now. There you are. So now you should be fully invited. Um, in two different ways. You should have an invite right on Google Hangouts. And you should have an invite in email. And both, either of those should be able to get you to fucking Google Hangouts now. Um, or not. I mean, I don't know. So we will play some incidental music uh, while we wait for this um, person to join. Uh, Fakir to join. Sorry, Fierce Crocodile to join. Um, and the incidental music will be uh, Manic Monday by the Bangles because it's Thursday. And because I don't have the uh, licensing rights... Um, technically, I don't even have the right to sing it on stream. 
but I sing so poorly, I don't think it actually counts as singing. Um, now, of course, I don't remember the words to Manic Monday either, which makes it even more difficult to sing. Uh, how do I answer? Just, well, you should be able to hit the green, uh, the green phone-like thing. Uh, there should be like an answer, there should be like a green phone button that you can hit, and that should bring you into it. Um, and if it doesn't, well, we're hosed. So, this is, this is like how I would think that, um, cavemen would be using Google Hangouts. I mean, we sort of know what we're doing, but we don't know which buttons to hit. Uh, and that was the problem with cavemen is... They had a lot of rocks and stuff, but they didn't know which buttons to hit on the rocks. Uh, because I personally believe that uh, cavemen had invented the iPod. Okay. Uh, let me know if you were able to answer. Who can it be now? Who can it be now? It's just me. Okay, we have, we have ringing, no answer. Um... So this is again, I very, very wonderfully uh, was going to waste some time. And then using the results of that wasted time, the data that we've generated, I'm going to waste more time having Google index those pages and then waste even more time having Google index them in the way that is mobile friendly. But fortunately, Fierce Crocodile has jumped into the stream. Okay, let me go ahead and call you again. Um... Okay, I'm doing a direct call to you now. So you should now have a ringy thing going on here. Um, so this is, this is, I think we're at like at six levels right now of, of uselessness, which I'm very proud. I mean, this might be a new record for me um, to hit how useless we are right now. Uh, so we are waiting now for the, um, for Mr. Mr. Fierce Crocodile. Okay, uh, again, okay, I'll do it again beginning to seem a little bit okay invite you are now invited I should actually be able to just add no I can't I can't add you I have to invite you I can't force you into this con in this conference um, no you're not stupid I mean I probably don't know what the hell I'm doing either um, let me know if you want me to do it again oh hang on hello are you there hello oh my god I didn't know you were going to do video. I can't hear you. I can see you. You look like a dork. This is... There we go. There we go. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> well, you're actually watching my stream, so you can't be seen here. Yes. Do you want me to put you on a place where you can be seen? Nah. Okay, good. I mean, by the way, to the people in my stream who cannot... Um, um, Ah, crazy. Okay, I need to mute mute the stream. Otherwise, uh, I'm here. Yeah, let me go ahead and I put. Think you it's really late. Let me go ahead and put you on really? head. Let me put you on headphones. Otherwise, it's going to be really fucking weird. This might disconnect me completely because there's some static, and if it does, I'll be back uh, in five ten minutes. Hang on. It shouldn't though. Oh, there we go. Check if this. Okay. So can now. I tell? Uh, I don't know if you can hear myself on your. I don't. I don't want to unmute my stream because it's going to get much worse. Oh, let me do it anyway. Um, I was trying to check what microphone is actually... Okay, let me turn up my stream here to max. Hello, hello. Hello, I hope it's um, my correct microphone, otherwise it will suck. Does it just suck? I guess it does. It, it's going to suck real... Now, I think I can make it suck a little bit more by turning on a different kind of audio. So right now I have desktop audio turned off. Let me turn desktop audio on. So now... No, I have a laptop. I have an internal microphone and uh, a better one. So I'm kind of trying to figure out which one is actually connected. Okay. So this might just screw things up tremendously. Okay. I don't think I don't it... Know. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off again because I don't know what the hell it does. So I can hear you. I can hear myself. Is in it already good? Is it already good? Otherwise, uh, I can totally hear wrong. you. I can totally hear you. Can you hear? You can hear me, right? Yes, perfect, actually. Great. You can hear me in real time. I can hear you in real time. The stream is hearing me at least four seconds delayed. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, yeah, so actually it's just a bunch of matrix, matrix multiplication. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, but go, let's go back here for a sec. So you put, at a very basic level, you put input into this neural network, right? Yes, and as a picture, it looks like a three by one matrix. Well, so okay. So, okay, but without using the word matrix, let's just see if we can, uh, yeah. you put in three numbers. One here, one oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, it, yeah, but it, it really simplifies things if you just multiply matrices, but I guess you could also implement it uh, without matrices. Yeah. No, no, I'm just trying to see what the matrices do. We're trying to, I'm, okay, basically I don't didn't want to say this, but my viewers, except for you, are extremely stupid. Um, yeah, so cool. we want to sort of uh, explain why we need matrices. We, the, it's linear algebra. But uh, not you. I mean, you're you're smart, and uh, whatever. I'm just I wish. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying here is, to get this hidden number one, we add up some linear combination of the three inputs, right? Oh yes, yes. It's pretty much linear. Well, that's that's you why it's a, why it's a matrix. Maybe this one is like one one. The first input bubble. When you put your mouse cursor, now your mouse cursor is on like maybe uh, three one, I guess. Or like on the third input. Well, the, my mouse cursor is going to be a few seconds behind. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sure. But but don't worry about it. I yeah. sort of we can we can just talk in general. Like input three red bubbles, hidden four red bubbles, yeah. output two yeah. green bubbles. And I should have said hidden four. Uh, mm. By the way, I'm not going to Pomodoro just in case anyone's wondering. Uh, four blue bubbles. So the very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I'm just thinking. Yeah, sure. We multiply. But it, but it should be have a different dimension, right? Because otherwise the matrices would not would not uh, pan out. Uh, I feel like. Okay, but again, without going too much into matrices, the value we put in hidden one uh, is a uh, some uh, linear. Nina, Nina. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So yeah, of course we have. Uh, it, it's like a function, right? Well, right. We calculate a function, which is our input well, times no, right. our hidden layer, I guess. Well, okay. So, to get hidden one, we take inputs one, two, and three, multiply them by different numbers, and add the results. Is that correct? Multiply them by different numbers. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would think so. I would think so, because then we could have put maybe like different weights on the, uh, on the, on the arrows, you know. Correct. Like nodes and edges, we could put nodes yes. on the edges. The edges would have so weight. Is, uh, yes, yes. I think then we would also get the correct matrices. Right. Then for hidden two, it's a different linear combination of the three inputs. Hidden two, yeah. Well, actually, there's now an, an input layer, uh, output layer, output layer. Sorry. Or do you think like the second, the second node, in the hidden layer? The second node yes, in the hidden layer. Yes, yes. It would have different weights because we have different edges. Correct. To sustain this terminology. Are you tapping something? Okay, never mind. It's oh fine. Oh yes, no. I it was. No I <laughs> it was creating a noise. Okay. Maybe it's not the correct audio working actually. It's fine now. Uh, it was you. Uh, I could heard the t tapping. So basically, yeah, because yeah. your next step is to fill in these four hidden values based on various linear combination of the input values. Um, I don't know if you if you fill them in, but if you do the calculation, so yeah, if you would fill them in, then you would have numbers. Right. And I guess you would add them all up. Well, so then you would be left, if you just add them all up, I guess you would be, be left with four times one, yeah? That well, numbers. I mean, you'd add, end up with numbers, right? The three input values yeah. are all numbers, right? Yes, now the hidden layers are numbers. Right. And then you take linear combinations of those four hidden numbers to no, get your... No, 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 we just did this. We just did this. We, we use the edges for our weights. Correct, right? correct. And then yeah. from the hidden numbers, to get to the output, we take a linear, two different linear combinations 
of the hidden numbers to get our outputs? Yes, but first we usually apply a function that we don't, don't, we don't need to. So then the nonlinearity comes into play. Oh. Let me, let me but, but we could just do the identity and then we would wouldn't have any nonlinearities and then we would just have lots of linear lines which are separating the the input. You know, if you if you think about the picture like one example is on the left and the other class is on the right and then you would just put a linear boundary within them. Okay. If you think like about one hidden node, maybe that's just like a regression. I like. Okay, I think I think, I th I think you lost me there. Um like like the typical picture, you have like uh, you f your cases for the positive cases on the left, and the negative cases uh, somewhere in an Euclidean space on the right, and you just would separate them linearly. Okay, I think maybe I should go to a neural network tutorial. So maybe because I I got I got lost there. To be honest, what I've heard about neural networks is different enough. Um, Learn in 11 lines of code. Yeah, no. Um, and I'm going to try doing, I don't like video. Uh, I guess I'm very unusual. Uh, deep learning, I think, is just throws you into it, which I. <coughs> it's just a read, it's just a read brand. Um. Okay. Okay. It always has been the same thing, actually, with back propagation, with this mm gradient. Okay. Let's see. Um, I was thinking, what should, uh, Do you have any examples of neural networks that you've created or are familiar with that would be helpful in explaining neural networks to our pretend viewers? Uh, not really, because I didn't prepare anything. That's okay. But that's Andrew okay. And G, Andrew and G has a pretty good lecture, which I was actually watching. Uh, okay, but it's video, right? I want. I want to sort of see code. I want to actually mess with you know nodes and functions and all this crap you know of anything that does no. that is no, there a really. is there a preferred language for neural networks or really any language works i mean usually people use python because you would use like tensorflow because then you just implement the forward propagation and it would calculate the derivatives for you i didn't follow a lot of that would you can you could you create a neural network right now if uh, on a Python playground? Uh, it would take me time, right? Because the, the simplest example is a log logistic regression. That's Kay. the most basic example, where you would actually have the same network shown in your slide, but you would have one output node. Okay. I guess because you have like the probability of that class. Okay. Again, I'm confused. Uh, let me the question I'm going to ask you though is, if we were to we could bring up a, a, a replit for Python, could you in real time code a very basic neural network? Mm, I don't know. I guess no, not not now. Okay. Okay. Um, but you could code it for. But you could code it for me, I guess. I mean, I mean, you could. Uh, I'm, I'm confused. How could I do better than you? You're the one who knows about it, right? Yeah, but you know the math, and that's pretty simple. I mean, you have your input vector from the graphic, which is like three times one, and then you just multiply it with a metric, which should have a three and a four in it somewhere, and then you get uh, another vector. Okay, so your output is a vector. Let me think. Why can I not get this matrix multiplication right? Right. You put the the rows and the columns. Or how how was it again? I'm like Pfeile auf die Spalte. You just killed a spider. No, it's it's German here. I don't know. Okay. 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 Times. Because uh, um, we can get to a Python replet real quickly that you can edit in real time while I watch. Oh no, I'm just... <laughs> You're not that bored. I'm not prepared and tired. <laughs> oh, bored and tired, not a good combination. Um, I, I just don't get it at the moment. 
See, I'm, I'm sort of understanding this. Um, oh, okay, so a bias is a number you would add to the linear combination. Oh, yeah, yeah, to after you do uh, did the matrix multiplication. It's just like in regression where you have your slope and you want your intercept back. Still not quite there yet. I'm at the point now where you have two inputs, you make a linear combination of them, and then you add a number to that linear combination. Well, yes, you could do that, sure. Well, this is what they're, um, ooh. Our percept, our, hang on, our perceptron implements a NAND gate. Let's see if I believe yes, that. This makes sense. Yeah, there's a linear decision boundary. And that's why it was so discussed like, oh, um, a perceptron cannot implement an XR and then, uh, this was back in the 60s or 70s, yeah. when like Rosenblatt uh, proposed the perceptron and perceptron learning algorithm. And uh, then it was shown like, oh, well, but you can implement XR with multiples. Uh, perceptrons. Okay, let me see if this one actually implements a NAND gate. So if you put 0, 0, we would expect 0 and 0 uh, to be 0, so the NAND would be 1. So if we put in 0, 0 yeah. here, I would expect to get a 1. Um, so 0, 0, multiplied by minus 2, 0, still 0, so I would get a 3 out somehow. Okay, and it's positive. Okay, so, so that's good. So we're good. Uh, yeah, so the you can, this will implement a linear decision boundary. Okay, so, so what's going on here is this either gives you a 3 or a 1, depending on whether 3 is true, 1 is false. Oh, no, hang on. Mm, oh, no, I'm sorry. This is correct. Yeah, this is NAND. So 0 and 1 would be 0, but NAND would be 1. So basically, this pr produces a positive output uh, if x1 NAND x2 is true, and a negative input if x1 NAND x2 is false. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they were. Um, that seems like a very strange way of doing it, but okay. Um, okay. I'm having some trouble understanding why we're doing this and how it works. Does this just mean that if, you, if there's no arrow has weight, does that just mean that in here we get x1 plus x2? x1 plus x2. But then we would have weights of 1, wouldn't we? Well, I'm looking at this diagram and they don't have any weights. The only time they have an actual weight here is this negative 4. But aside from that, everything looks like it's not has no weights on it. And then we wouldn't multiply the 1, 2 with 1, 1, right? Like a 2 by 1 matrices times a 1 two. by 2 matrices, which would give us just a scalar. So, and then you can scale it up, of course. So what would number so would end up in here? X1 plus X2 or something other than X1? plus x2. Oh, no, this, this should also be our matrix multiplication. Okay, if but we want to add them. Yeah. So what would end up in yeah. here? Um, what were the values? Um, x1 plus x2. But x1 gets weighted with w1, and x2 gets weighted with w2. But of course, if w1 and w2 are both 1, then you would just have the sum, right? Right. And now, so, and that's, what is it called? So that's the output of your layer. But before you go to the next node, you would play your, um, put in your activation function. I which could be like a sigmoid or a tangent. Okay, I'm not, I'm totally, totally lost here. This diagram to me looks like a very simple uh, plussing diagram. Yeah, but we are also, in this diagram is pretty, because we're also skipping one layer because we're also putting x1 directly yeah into into i mean it would be much 
simpler if we would just consider this one neuron where we would have x1 and x2 is the first matrices which is a column i believe times a row vector w1 okay and nope. w2 nope. sorry I, I just don't for this particular specific are you saying this is not a simple neural network here uh no this is more complicated because we okay. would first calculate the neuron in the middle okay um which would be i would assume x uh, what i just said x1 and x2 times w1 but there's no weights assigned w2. where do you where are you getting your w's no we just said we put the w on the on the edges right right we right so linear comp produce a linear combination okay i guess what's confusing me here is these edges don't have weights so i assumed that means yeah, the weight is yeah. one it's, it's not shown it's not shown yeah i'm assuming the that's, weight is just one implement it. this is the only place where you have a, a, a specified okay. weight what, what was it what was it not exudation what the other one so then you would have the value for th for this node but before you um put it into the next layer because the next layer the upper node would be a matrix multiplication of x1 and uh, the activation of the previous layer times a different weight matrix see i don't really understand so, so you're saying we should not we should stop considering this diagram the one that I'm looking at I now. Mean we, I mean, we can, and at the end we would have an output, and then we go to the third layer, and then we calculate the activation of that, and then we would just um, use the chain rule to compute the gradient for all yeah. Ws. Again, I'm totally lost now, because I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out. I'm just trying to figure out this one neural network, and I want to say that in here would be x1 plus x2. Yeah, we can also go to the Pascal's form. I think this makes more easy because the, the sum is five. Yeah, let's just, let's just let's consider this, this one in the middle. So we multiply x1 and x2 with the matrix w1 and w2. So Which this would give us some value. Well, but there is no w1 or w2 here, right? Because there's no... Yeah, but yeah it's not shown, but, but we need them. But I mean, we need they're fixed in the neural network, right? No, no, this is, these are the ways that, that we need to compute this gradient descent. Oh, dear God. Okay, I think I'm, I'm way too far behind where you are. Um, mm. I, need to, uh, mm. I need to look at something that's a much, much, much simpler. Uh, I, I, I'm not even getting what a neural network is right now. So that's what my confusion is. Um... I mean, I mean, we could do this, right? And then you would have some output, and then you have some value that you want. So okay, too many ads on this one. Error, your error, and if you have your error again, way you're already past me here. <laughs> okay, it, I'm gonna it's I'm gonna look for a simple taking the derivatives. See, I don't mm -hmm. even see where you are with that. Why are you doing any of that? So, okay. Okay, so I understand why we have neural networks. Okay, yeah, so it's x. Okay, wait. You know, like x, y equals x times beta. And we want to okay. estimate beta. It's just like a linear regression, basically. Yeah, again, you know, want to you're totally, I, I think you're starting in the middle of something. And I want to start at the beginning. So mm. this is the m model I understand. You have cell nucleuses. Yeah, that's 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 a model they used back then. But Andrew and G them, uh, himself also said like, oh well, that's actually an analogy that that he tries to use less. Oh. I guess this might have been the motivation for everything. Like, oh, we have this and activation. Um. Okay, so this is the network. This is the neural network model I learned about in 1985. So you're telling me now, only one year later, <laughs> this is no longer the model I that is being I used. I, I mean, we don't really know if the brain works like this. I mean, the inspiration has been taken from uh, from um, right. biology. But that's irrelevant. I'm asking. Like, um, 
convolutional networks. Yeah, that's not my c question well, though. My I question is, is this no longer used as the model of neural networks, or it's used less? It's it's more like an anal analogy, 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 but it's used less now. Okay. I mean, Andrew Andre, uh, he he's a he's a man, I believe. I guess he founded Google Brain and some stuff, and I don't know. Okay. And he uh, says in this lecture that he tries to use this less. I mean, lots of inspiration um, comes from this, but it really just breaks down to to taking the derivative, just taking the chain rule. So again, you're. I don't know what you're taking the derivative. I don't know where you are. See, that's the problem. It's like you want to take the derivative of something, and I haven't even gotten yeah. my numbers going yet. Um, yeah. So are you yeah. suggesting that we don't look at this in tutorial because the model it's using is not very good. No, no, it, it's just the same. This is just the motivation. This was just right. like the it's a model. Okay, so shall we continue? Yeah, sure. Okay. 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 Okay, yeah, here we have um, our input hidden and our output layer. Okay, I still have no idea what the hell this is. I mean, I see what, you're, what it is. I just don't know what it's doing. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. An example. Uh, okay. Yeah. We just multiply matrices. Okay. No, but we're not there yet. Shush. Uh, <laughs> well, that's all it is. Well, okay. I don't really understand what you're. Okay. Take a look at the. Uh, so let's see. The cat image is the input. The cat. What? Yeah, that, that's a pretty pretty. Okay, but I understand this. I, I understand. Yeah. I understand the goal here. You put in this image as the input. Now, an image you could consider to be um, a matrix it's of colors, right? Yeah. It, yes. It's a it's a two dimensional input. Yeah. Well, it's actually th well. Let's see. Yeah. There's, yeah. Yeah. And there's uh, different channels. So it would be like, like I don't know x times y times channels like three for RGB. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, then they would use convolutional. I don't know if you did image processing, if you know, like, uh, but see, like see, stop, 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 okay. stop. We just, I just want to understand what the input is. The input is a series, um, is basically a three dimensional matrix. Uh, the first dimension is the X pixel value, you know, where you are in the X, where you are in the Y, and then the third yeah. is the color of that at that point. So yeah, X. You would have a, ha have a volume, yes. I don't know what a volume is, but we have a color. So at every well, like three dimensions, or, or, I think. <laughs> okay. So this is let's just say the image is 1,024 by 768 for convenience. So we have a 1,024 by 768 matrix. Each element of the matrix is a three-dimensional is a is a one by three vector or three by one vector. Actually, I think oh, it is uh, yeah. it is one by it's three like actually. Very difficult, but I guess. So, how would you model this input? Oh, so that's pretty much very far up the line, but I guess people would use convolutional neural networks where you have different filters and you actually also learn the weights of filters. I don't know if you like Sobel filter, um, like edge detections, and then you build up layers on layers. Okay, so, so I, I still don't. You actually see, this is yeah, what. This is, this is so this, this is pretty, pretty high up. Also, Donna lectures. This is like the fourth week or something like this. Or this is, yeah, this is, but to me, I'm just asking you, you have a cat image in the input layer. So yes. somehow you have to take something that is a picture and convert it to yeah. something that you could be stuffed into some input. To me, the only yeah. way to do that, I mean, there's, okay, there's probably other ways of doing it. Um, but the easiest way to do that is to think of the image as a matrix of pixels, each of three dimensions. It is. Okay, it good. Is, yeah. So that's how we're going. So now, oh dear. Okay. So far, I'm okay. Uh oh. So somehow we yeah, just jumped from something very simple. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, this is this is not not really not really. Okay. Expensive problem. Okay, but st so far I'm not confused. Um. Yeah. Um, okay, now now I'm confused. Um, yep, 
somewhere between here where we say I want some inputs <laughs> and there between when we suddenly are adding all sorts of crap that I have no idea what it is. This is I'm I'm convinced that there is a simple way to understand neural networks. It is, it is. It is very simple, actually. It and is. you're not, we're not using it, though. I mean, I, I tried to explain you that it would just be like a regression case if you just consider two inputs. Uh huh. We would have our x times w plus your b <laughs> equals y, and this is just a regression. Then we would calculate the error. See, I think the problem is we haven't even and started we're yet. This, yeah. you, we're, you're, you're talking about regression, but we have nothing yeah. in terms of values here. We have no data. So that's that's where I think we need to go back to. We have, yeah, I, think I think I understand what you're saying now. Let me, let me make sure that I think I, hopefully this will help. So we start with a bunch of data that is XY data where Y is, X, y is roughly linear in X. Or no? Hmm. I don't know. Is there a linear relationship between x and y? Actually, we kind of avoid this. That's why we use the activation function. Okay. To so let's let's go. In it. Let's go to an example. God help us. Yes. Okay. <laughs> give yeah. me give me some input. So the thing we start with is input and a goal that we want to satisfy. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to see if I have a readme notes here. Good. Okay. So give me an example. Give me some input. Give me a goal. Oh, man. Uh, Andrew and G always uses like his house prices. He wants to take okay. house prices. Sure. Depen depending on um, like square meters and, sure. and, and a bunch of, I mean, that's a basic setup in machine learning, right? You have like some features Correct. and you want to predict some target value. Well, my understanding is you basically want to see what linear combination of the input variables will give you the output variable. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's not that can't be all of artificial intelligence. That can't be all that neural networks do. I mean, this will just be a linear relationship as you suggested, right? Okay. But basically, it, it boils down to that. It actually boils down to that. Well, that's yes, not very interesting. It isn't. It isn't, actually. Well, then why do people do it? <laughs> well, because further up the line, it combines lots of ideas. Like for image processing, it, it combines the ideas from com uh, computer vision, like, oh, we have this filter um, who detects edges, and then further down the line, these extra... It's actually pretty interesting how you design these different layers. And for example, with these images in the first layer of like simple edges are detected. Then okay. okay, wait, 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 wait. We're, we're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going nuts again. Can you give yeah, me a simple nice. data set that we can work with? Oh, not really. I, did, I didn't prepare anything. Wow. I mean, I, I don't, I know you didn't I prepare anything. But is, there, is there not like the iris, iris, uh, iris flower data set or something like that? RMGC or the, um, what is the other one? Which I typically use like in universities. Iris data set or the Geysia data set. What is it? Like okay. Iceland, these tea thingy things. I mean, these are like the typical data sets which I use. But I'm asking well. you, see, we're trying to learn, I'm trying to learn about neural networks. So can you come up with an example data set for me, make one up, that will help me learn, or is that just not possible? Of course it's possible. I mean, you can just make up, you can just generate a bunch of x's and y's okay. with some function. I mean, you can just generate data, right? Okay, so uh, can we do that? Are we okay with that? Are you okay with me generating some data now? Not really. <laughs> no. Of course, you can just ex for for like uh, logistic regression case, you can just generate data. Okay. You said your W. Wait, I mean wait, 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 wait. 
My input I data has one. nothing to do with W, right? Uh, no. You would just have X's and Y's. X, right? Okay. Can I oh. can I create some data now for us to input yeah. data to start with? No, we don't have a neural network yet. I just want some data. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. That's that's what you usually do, right? You implement the algorithm, you generate data, and then you see, oh, do I get the Ws uh, which I generate, and that's how you test. <laughs> I'm not. I'm still confused. I just want to generate some data. Yeah, sure. Usually, what, what do I do actually? I just generate data from uh, in, in the dimensions I want, maybe like two dimensions. Hang on, I need to see what the All random function the does here. But I mean, yeah, you can just generate data, and then you fix your w, and then you do x times w. You're still going too fast. So, yeah. do you see the data that is up on my screen now? It's under out five. Uh, it's, a, it's a random real. Ah, okay. These are like, okay, yeah, looks good, I guess. This could be like x values, right? I have like two dimensional data. Well, yeah, one is the x value. This is the y value, two comma 0 0.4 is five, three. Can we call yeah, this yeah. our data? Yeah, sure, sure you can call okay. this data. Yeah. This is our input, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I guess. Uh, I guess I would more uh, I would generate like a hundred or something like ten is a little bit okay little that's bit fine few. let me go ahead and do that that I can do okay there's a bunch of data for us oh yeah so now you have your like uh, hundred times two x matrix which you would call x. I don't care what you call it. We have a bunch of data here. <laughs> I call it X. <laughs> okay. So what would be our goal now? See, I think we're not even getting to the point where I'm not understanding what we're trying to do. I guess you wanted to, to, to just implement the logistic regression. You would just uh, want to output the probability. Where you you know you, uh, you have like two cases this is like class one or class two and then you just output the probability. So you would do x times w. You kind of need to fix your w. Okay, hang on, I'm confused. Um, These are your parameters that uh, which you want to find. Right. But but you, you but essentially it, you have to ground truth. I see. Again, we're we're going too fast because I don't understand what our. <sighs> okay. What does a neural network do? I mean, I would go for the just a logistic regression because this is one of the first that N N2NG um, okay. what shows. Is, what, what does that mean? Um, you have your X, then you would have your hidden layer, which would be uh, your W. Uh, okay, uh, but and I'm not... Then I'm asking you at a... You would have at sort of a perceptual level... What do I put into a neural network and what do I get out of it? As, a u as an end user, someone's given me a neural network, what do I stick into it and what do I expect to get out of it? What is the input and output of this neural network? Yeah, X is your input and Y would be your output, I guess. Okay, so I put in a number like right. 7 and I get an output. Well, you yeah, yeah, you just generated your X, so this is your data. Okay. And but now, now you need to generate your W. Wait, stop, 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 noise. stop, 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 stop. This is the data that I know is good, is that correct? Yes. So now I would put it, so the neural network is going to try to tell me what the data would be uh, if I put in 1.5, for example. Yes, so like the first one, which is like 1 and 1.02. Wait, what? Um, yeah, like the first data point. I mean, I see it on your screen. But yes. <laughs> if you would put, um, I'm so confused. I mean, I mean, it's, you should be pretty familiar with logistic regression. And Do you mean linear regression? regression? Yeah, linear regression or logistic regression, where you just put this into the sigmoid function. Again, I don't know what a sigmoid function is. Wow. Um, isn't it? 
1 divided by 1 plus e to the minus. I don't know. I don't know what a sigmoid. Hang on, is there actually a function it called is, the sigmoid? It is. Hang on, let's see if yes, there's actually it a. Is. Let's write 1 over 1 plus e to the minus z. Let's let z be a parameter. <laughs> okay. Trust Trust me, I'm a professional. <laughs> I still don't know what you're doing, though. I, I guess I still don't understand why we, what we're doing, what uh, we're trying to get. Because it, put, because it puts out a value between 0 and 1, and we want a probability. So that's pretty neat. It is, except I don't know what the hell you're doing. Oh, we want now a probability, and then we put, put out. Probability uh, of it, what? Uh, class 1 or class 0. Okay, so... so if, it, if it's smaller than 0 0.5, it would say like, oh, it's class 0, and then it's bigger than... Okay, so five. so what are we trying to do here with our... This data is not appropriate for that. Is that is that correct? No, I think it's good. That should be perfectly fine. Okay, let me actually go to Wolfram Cloud, because I think we can make a, at least a diagram of this data if we want to. Oh, I thought... Oh, I thought you were doing Python. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Python's your favorite language, right? Oh. My least favorite language. I hate it. But anyway, oh, hang on, I meant to do, we're never going to get through this, but that's okay, because I, I no, enjoy no, 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 yeah, because I didn't prepare anything. No, no, it's because I don't understand what the hell's going on. So let me go ahead and make my table of random data here. Okay, so we need more analogy. So this is like um, f houses, and we want to okay. know if it's a good or a bad house or whatever, or can we okay. make up some medical data? So this is maybe like okay. fashion history okay. and whatever. And we want to know, like, oh, will he, he be healed but or not? What but, is but, but, with the data I have now, what would be something we would want to know? Yeah, usually you have some model in mind. And okay. that's why, so you then you're like, oh, well, I think there's, like, a linear relationship, I guess, would be an assumption. And then you put in your sigmoid because you want the probability. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I have this. So that's, like... So that would be like the forward part in neural network, right? You know, like, oh, x uh, times w, and then I put it in a sigmoid again, function. But see, again, I'm, con I'm confused because you're talking about the, the bulk, the guts of the neural network. I don't want to know the guts. Right now I just want to know what do I give the neural network and what does it give me back. So if we were talking x about – you're not – that doesn't helpful. So let me, let me give you an example of what you just said, I think. Yeah. So what you I would do – can we? Yeah, sure. Just define W for like 1.5 and I don't know, mix, mix two numbers up. 1.5 and minus, I don't know, 1.5 and minus 0 0.4, whatever. I don't understand what you're saying though. We need, now we have X, which is data. Then right. we need W. No. Which should be wait, two wait. numbers. W is part of the input you're saying. Oh, actually, we actually need to add the bias, so we should add to the data, we should add a column with one. Okay, so the input so data, exactly but again, we're, we're not talking about the input data anymore, are we? Oh, yeah, we need to add the bias, which is just this row with one. Okay, I'm still confused as to what our input is. I'm, I'm still lost. Let me give you an example of what I think you just said. So what yeah. you would first do is you would start out with a bunch of data about houses, and each house would be classified as good or bad. Is that our starting yes, input? Yes, okay. yes. Yes, that's all. Then what the neural network would do is given a new house with data that it doesn't know the, the answer for, it would tell yeah. us whether the house is good or bad. Yeah, sure. Is that what so you mean by... Yes, but we need to train the models. We need to Well, sure, yeah, 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 that's, that's fine. Hidden parameters. <laughs> But that's not what I'm asking, though. I'm asking, I'm still at the part of saying what is the input um, and what is the output. So the input, we, we create a neural network by looking at data we already have and then trying to get it that if you give it new data, it gives you a reasonable output for that data. Hopefully, yes. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's our goal. Okay. Finally, so is this, what I've put here, this random number data, is this good or not good as possible training yes, data? That's, per that's, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Perfect. But I would add just uh, a, is it column, I'm always confused, it's column and rows. 
the column with just ones because for our bias. Again, how would this be? What would this be in the input I get? H how would this be related That's to my input? I mean, it's just for convenience. I mean, we have x times w plus. Uh, I mean, yeah, x times uh, x times beta plus b. And then if we just add the 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 column with ones, we can just put us just use the matrix multiplication, and we don't need to. Okay. Do stuff. I'm still confused as to how your bias is. We're talking about our input data right now, right? It's like it's like the intercept. I have my slope and I have my intercept. Uh, br that's but that's that's part of the. That's not input data, right? Not really, but I just do it. I, I'm still I confused. Uh, what is? Yes, I, inter I I guess if you would give the your function the data, then it would just add. I'm okay. A row. I'm still trying to figure out what our input is here, what our training data is here. Data, data, perfectly fine. Just add a column with ones and. Okay, but <laughs> how would how would that how would that relate to my actual input Full data? Bind. Full bind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just a bunch of ones. <laughs> but why? I don't. How does that relate to our input data? Because x times beta plus b. I don't understand. N times, N times x plus b, like like a linear function, okay. like, like a linear thing. Okay. A linear thing. <laughs> Wait. I'm okay. God damn it. It just it just moves everything up or down. <laughs> but we really have matter. we have our input data, right? So our input data, like for example, would be a bunch of house prices. Sorry, a bunch of input about a house, and including the house price, right? Yeah. Oh no, house price is why. I mean, as 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 output. another example, well, output, right, right, right. So our input yeah, I mean, data. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's good or bad, yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, so there could be the price. Yeah. Okay, so that's a that's a classification neural network. You put in a bunch of data about the house. Your training data is a bunch of houses where you have like the area or whatever, and then an output yeah. that's good or bad. Then you start putting yeah. in, <laughs> then you train your neural network so that it can compute whether a house is good or bad based on new data given to it. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, you can predict new data. Okay, so is the data I have on my screen now good training data? Yes, yes. Okay. Just just think about it as a regression. <laughs> okay, yeah. so this is fine for training data. Yeah, sure. Okay, no adding ones to it or anything, right? Oh, add, add, add the ones. <laughs> add the one. But this is. One. But why? Just do a. No, no. <laughs> but this is my data, right? My I can't. If this is the data I got out of real life. I could yeah, I you can just add a column of ones. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but not to my input I data, right? Why not? Because this is my input. I've gotten it from some source, right? Yeah, but I can just add one. I mean, one doesn't do much. <laughs> no, but I mean, it, it's. I mean, I, I would add ones. But that doesn't make sense. It does make sense. This is my data that I got from some machine, right? Yes, and you want to calculate a function sure. which predicts some target value. Correct. But I can't... If you, think just, if you just think about a line, mx plus, plus b, b. Right. Yes, and we need this b. But no, the first thing we need to do is... So we've got our input data. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure... We can't touch our input data because... We can, we can. It's, 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 it's more convenient if we have at just one. <sighs> this is our B. If, if, we want, if we have a linear relationship, we say like, oh, the higher, like perfectly linear, the higher the square meters, the higher the price. But maybe we need to add some offset. I guess so what I'm confused about is B. if this data is coming from some place, you yes, can't alter yes. it without having, without, um, without basically invalidating your input but i think i see what you, you want to do i think what yes, you want to do is okay no 
We're not doing anything with the data. It's just for convenience. But we can't. It's the data. But I think what you yeah. want to I think what you want to do is create a a second data two. Yes. Then then create data two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dear God. Oh gosh. Uh, so here. In that's, data that's the difference between computer science and math. In math, you cannot just add one. <laughs> Correct, you can't. Okay. You can't just add it one. Uh, so what you want to do is create a new table so that has... Totally different, totally different vector space. Uh, totally different. <laughs> okay, but let me see if I understand what you're doing. You want to create this table here that looks like this. Hopefully it'll... Is that what yes, you wanted me yes, to do? Yes, yes. But that's not the data. Yeah, that's the important thing to remember, yes. this is not the freaking okay. data. This is a modification yeah. of the data, but okay, good. Okay, now. Okay, okay now, now what do we do? Now define w, w. Now define W. Just okay. three random numbers. I don't know. I don't care really. Well, I mean, you probably will get a, 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 a m of near zero in a. Well, actually, I don't know what the hell you'll get. Okay, no, now I've done it. I'm gonna punch me, but I don't like you. Okay. Okay, so what I've done now is I've taken my data, and then I've made a copy of my data, or actually and added a one to it. So this is no longer the data because my data didn't have ones okay, in it, yeah, but this yeah, is no, a modification yeah, of my data. Yeah. Now so what do we do? It lives in, it, it, it lives in now in R, R to the power three, how do you say R three? It lives now in a different space. Anyway, yeah, now we need W, let's get W, which is like, uh, I don't know, three values. I how do, I how do we, dimension now. how do we get W? These are the parameters we want to find. We just want to figure out okay, the good, how I good, work. Good, 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 good. I agree. So we're trying to find wi, w0 such that y is equal to w0x plus w1. Um, I don't know, matrix multiplication. We just multiply them. Okay, what do we multiply so by what? x times w, so get the dimensions right. Oh, okay, so you want me to create a matrix? I, I, will, yeah, you, I will transpose it later, I don't know. Yes, we need a matrix. Which is just going to have variables in it called W1 and W2? And W3 or W0. Okay, you know, so our matrix is going to be, uh, uh, so this is three col This is one by three because it's one row, three columns. Our matrix will yeah. therefore be three by one? Yes, yes, just yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, W0, so this is not the matrix, correct? This is the wrong matrix. It's the trans... No, these are the weights. Th these are the weights. Uh, you can make up some, 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 some numbers. Yeah, I'll define W0, W2, W... Oh, what do you want? Somewhere. Put in some numbers. No, I don't know, 1.4, 1 1.5, okay. and minus, minus 1 point, uh, 0 point, oh, I mean 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.5, and minus 0.1, I don't know. So are these three numbers that you want? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, so what do you want me to do with this matrix I've just created? Now we need to calculate data to time mat. Okay, I can do that. So, so each, maybe like each row of x is multiplied with each weight. Let's see what this Should does. Should actually give us a value. It's just pretty boring. It's actually pretty boring. But well, you're the one who yeah. you're the one who said I could do this example. Bam! And now we put this into our sigmoid function. I hope I'm not making anything wrong. Okay, one second here now. Uh, so did you expect to get a? Uh, it looks like the dimensions of this yeah, are. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Looks okay. Good. This is for each training example, the matrix modification. And now we want our probability. Give me one second. I want to make check the what the dimensions are here. Okay. Ah, it's 100. It doesn't, okay. It doesn't. Good, good, good. Well, we, we will just call this. Do, do we want to call this uh, like temps? Do we, we don't. Do we want to call this data three or no? Now, now we have a, like a regression. And now we just put it into a sigmoid function to okay. get our logistic regression. Okay. So hang on a second. Now what do we do next? So we've now multiplied data two by this random made up matrix that you made up. Yes, because now we want to find this random matter matrix. Okay, so what do we do next? Um, we put d this into mm -hmm. the sigmoid function. Okay, so the sigmoid function, let me see if we have a I sigmoid. Think it's one, yeah, I'll define it. I think it's 1 over 1 plus d to okay. the minus. One second, give me one. I want to see if, I want to give, see if Mathematica has a chance 
Mathematica doesn't know this, so I'll, I'll go ahead and define it. So the sigmoid function, let me just call it sigmoid of x, is, now tell me what it is, 1 over 1 plus e to the x? Minus. Okay. Well, hang on one second here. Sorry, i got some pop-ups coming up one which you can't see. One uh, okay, so yeah, is this... Min minus, uh, minus x. Wait, is then this... Should be is this the sigmoid function that you want? Mi minus x, e to the minus x. Oh! And is this a plus then? Otherwise it's... Otherwise... Uh, oh yeah, it is a plus. It is one plus. Okay. I didn't see this one. Yeah. Okay. So let me do this really quickly for you. The plot of the sigmoid function from 0 to 1 should look like an S-curve. Yes. Okay. Let's see if that... Okay, I should not do it. That is not the right sigmoid function. Oh. Something is wrong here. Oh, that's, that's not... It doesn't look good, no. Did I get it wrong? Let me do the... Uh, let me... Uh, why? Why is it... I think you're close, but... Since Mathematica doesn't know what a sigmoid function is, which I've never heard of it either, so... Um, see, it says a sigmoid function, which sounds like there's a bunch of them. So, 1 over 1 plus e to the minus x. Oh, then you plot it from negative infinity to infinity. Hang on, I, I see the problem. Okay. So we don't want to plot it from neg 0 to 1. We want to plot it from like negative 3 to positive 3. Okay? Yeah, sure. And there we go. That's a good-looking sigmoid function. Now what do you want to do with the sigmoid function, please? We, we put our uh, matrix multiplication in there. Um, did, we, did, did we save it somewhere? Yeah, we have it. It's temp 1348. Let me show it to you again. I, okay. I just yeah. suppressed it. So yeah, you mean you mean this row of 100 numbers? Yes, 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 yes. That's our W. Okay. I guess I'm going to actually add also add noise, but I guess we don't need to. Would I add noise? Yeah, I guess we would add noise. Okay, so what are, we, what are we doing next? Step by step, we have the sigmoid function. We know what it looks like. We can. I'll go ahead and delete this because we don't need to look at it. Okay, so now we know our sigmoid function. Uh, what do you want me to do with, uh, and this is the, this is the matrix, this is the 100 results that we got from taking data to and multiplying it by this arbitrarily chosen matrix. Now what do we do? Yes, we put it, we plug it in there, and then we have our Y. That's our output. Wait, plug it in where? Uh, 10, 1, 2, uh, 1, 3, 4, 8, and 2, kick noise. You want to plug all these numbers, you want to map the sigmoid function. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, yes, yes. chill, and then you can chill. Draw a diagram. <laughs> and you Slow down, do stop Slow it. Down. Stop. I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm not hungry. You need to learn Chinese, because you're hungry. What? What? Yeah, this is MW. Yeah, I need some bread rolls. Germans only eat bread rolls. Brötchen. You sounded like you were talking Chinese there for a like second. You sounded like you were talking Chinese. There. Yeah, I can. Cool. Me and Dao is bread in Chinese. Wow. Me and Dao. I'm impressed. Dao. Me and Dao is bread in Chinese. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so now, um... So now, I'm going to call this temp 1352. Yeah, now you can calculate the gradient. Oh, oh, we need actually to do this. Okay, wait. Oh. I've done what you said, and I've create I've mapped the sigmoid function over all my values of data two dot mat. This is what I get. We now pause while the German guy gets some Chinese bread. 
Um, and I would like to remind people the last time the Germans teamed up with Orientals, we had some serious issues. So are you, tell me when you're back, Mr. German guy. Okay, we, we might have lost the German guy. No, I'm here, I'm here. I'm oh, okay, okay. I'll wait. So then, I think something's wrong. So then you will have your X and your Y. It won't be your data. Wait, stop. This is what I have right now. Where do I go from here? So, so then usually mm -hmm. you would have X and Y. Oh, okay. Oh, these are all one. Oh my God, what happened there? Hmm. I don't That's know. Stupid. Well, okay. This doesn't look good. Okay. Now we only have one, one type of cases. This sucks. What, what, what do we do wrong with our input data? Wait a minute. Or maybe the weights. Wait. It should be more balanced. It should be more balanced. Okay, slow down. First of all, Maybe. we're trying to build a neural network that takes input of X and gives us input of y, output of Y, right? Yeah. Where X and Y are both numerical, right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know why we're saying only one case. There's an infinite number of cases, right? No, no. Output data. Nothing is smaller than um, 0.5. Maybe we need to adjust our, adjust our weights. Maybe. Okay. Let, let, me, let me do something real quickly here. Let me go ahead and plot our original data for you. Oh. That's what our original data looks like. Let me actually plot it with... Um, this is our training data right here. Yeah. Is there a problem? Oh, it looks okay, I guess. You could <laughs> imagine, like, some boundary between it. Maybe I messed... Up the weights, I don't know. We should take something smaller. What are you at? What uh, are you? Look, let me ask you this question again. I've asked you, I know, like 10,000 times. This is okay mm -hmm. for training data, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you just say yes or no? Should be fine. Should be fine. Yes. Okay, good. Nah. So we've got the that training data, and now we're going to put in, uh, you know, we're going to create a neural network that does a good job of giving approximately the same output as our training data does if you put in a number, right? Mm. Okay, good. So what what are we going to do next now? Let's adjust uh, first the matrices okay. max. Uh, okay. Make, make like 0.4 and 0.5. Because our training set is not, not um, balanced, we only have like one one case. What do you want to have like? What do you mean by one case? Set. I don't know what that means. But okay, I've balanced our matrix. I'm mm -hmm. going to now multiply the new matrix by the modified data, right? Okay, mm -hmm. good. We get this crap here. Is that is that what you kind of expected? Um, oh, this is a new one. Oh yeah, now we have like 0.2, and we have like. Sorry. This is this is the result of multiplying the uh, the yeah, first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, this that, that's not one. We need to look at the other one. Okay, so you want to um, look at what happens? This, this, this still that doesn't look look good. Okay. Let's lower the values even further. I don't know. So you're just making up these mat values, but go ahead. What do you want these values to be? You tell me. I want them between like I don't know like, o two and one because we have just observed one case. Just maybe the, the maybe the, the maybe the last one stuck. Maybe the last one was not a good idea. So just make this minus one o point one maybe. I don't okay. Know, no what do you mean you don't know? This is you're telling me how to do this, right? Try, let's try now. So should I go with this? Maybe. Yeah, let's try. Let's give it a run. Yeah, let's we can we can run it. Run. So this is the these are the sigma values for this one.
if you. Oh, wow. this doesn't look good either. Okay, so what? How do we Damn fix it? it? Damn it! This example is not going well. No, not really. You want okay. Maybe the last number. Maybe let's make. I don't know. Okay. Do you maybe want to use some existing training data? I, is there like a small no. set? No. You're happy with no, my training no. data? Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. So what do we do next? Yeah, this makes us 0.1 minus 0.1. Okay. Just try it. I'll we fix this one later. Who cares? Okay. Here's what our sigmas look like when we do that. Yes. Let's let's hope it's more spread out. Okay, so how do you want to mm -hmm. fix this? This is your example. Oh, I mean, I, I chose the training data, but aside from that, this is your example. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Okay, let's go down. I mean, yeah, uh, okay, it doesn't look good, but yeah, it sh sh should work. Okay, can you scroll down? I want to see what is, what okay. is our temp. One, two, three, four, five, the, the only output right now is the... Uh, is the sigmoid after you've applied the sigmoid ah, function? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, it doesn't look good, but uh, okay. I guess I guess that should be okay. At least we have uh, was it a very small? Yeah, we just see if it works. If not, then okay. Okay, so now this would be like oh, I can hear myself. <laughs> yeah, you're a little loud. You could you're 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 peaking the mic. Okay. Oh, I just have one. So you're fine now. Go ahead. So this would be like the forward pass. Right. I don't know. You tell me what to do next. I'm trying to still figure out what we're doing. I mean, I understand every step you've done so far. I don't understand what the goal, where we're going with this. Okay. Usually now you would have like X and your Y, and you want to figure out the W. Okay. How do we do that? We need to calculate the error and the error. Did you say E R R O R? The error, yeah. Okay. I was thinking. Maybe I need to open the lecture. So basically, we define the loss. Okay. First. How do we act? Right now, we don't even have a way of converting x to y. I mean, except for the input data, we don't have a formula. Or is this? Well, you tell me what we do next. This, this, this is our formula. We just said that x times w plugged into the sigmoid function is our output. So we have a hundred outputs so here for you. Yes, and um, and I should have opened this earlier. Um, I'm just confused because there's usually like two steps, but usually now you would kind of get the loss function. Which defines your error, right? And we okay. just have a sigmoid function that you would use. Uh, uh, I think it's um, as a beta distribution. And if you, because you have like one and zero, because they don't tell you this in this lecture, but I'm pretty sure you get the. Uh, they always define loss and the other thing. I always. Confused. Let me look at that. Mm. I mean, I understand what what you mean by loss. Basically, the loss is the sum. Be because it okay. Yes, loss was the sum over the errors, over, over the errors, right? Well, it's the sum of the it's the sum of the square of the errors because error. you want to keep everything positive because you don't want two errors to cancel out. But in linear regression, yes, the the total error is a measure yes. of the sum of the squares of the errors, and if you want, you can take the square root of that or something. But that's the average difference between the line and the data if you're talking about x y you could also do it as um, a pure distance to line thing but that's a different error measure 
Yeah, so yes, you need the error. Then you minimize the error. That sounds and good to me. When the but now we're going step by um, step, so you got to tell me what the next step is here. Yeah, I'm trying to open the online lab Okay. Uh, for a while I could hear myself, but now it's fine. Okay. It'll be funny oh, if, on if on the video it turns out no one can hear you, so I just sound like an idiot talking to myself. <laughs> I'm going to check that. Make a note to check that. Um. I mean, if you think about it, all the streaming is talking to yourself, but this will be even weirder because it's like I'm talking to voices in my head <laughs> that only I can hear. Uh, this oh man, man. Why is this not in my head? I know it's like you just take I'm pretty sure it's a better distribution, but because this gives you when it when you then take the log. I know what I know what the beta distribution is. It's a probability distribution. It's a family of yes, probability uh, distributions. To be yeah, like Laplace. No, not Laplace. Bernoulli, but uh, the other one. Uh, Bernoulli, yes, Bernoulli trials. Yeah, Bernoulli trials are only for one case, but it's a generalization yes, of yes, that. Yes. It's the beta. I can actually bring it yes, up. I can bring up some information about it if you'd like. Yes, and that's, I mean, we did this in university, but... Uh, Continu oh, it's not going to give you more information than that. So the continuous beta... Oh. Wait. Mm -mm. There's also the regularized beta distribution. The cost function. Mm. I'll just bring up some information for our readers. Yeah, so... Basically, I guess what he does, he defines the cost function. This is what it was. Okay. The cost function is um, da, da, da. so the cost function. I'm pretty sure it's this better distribution. Okay. Oh no! Wait. Hmm. So the loss, and then the cost function. Is I'm getting confused here. Okay. So how do we so measure the loss? So the loss between your prediction and your uh, and the true value. We don't even have a prediction yet, though. Uh, we would have if we just take a, a, a neural network. We would have a, a different weight vector, and you would initialize it randomly. So you would have. I can do that. Matrix. Okay, so you're so saying that the loss is a function of the matrix, is that correct? The loss is between your prediction. Right. What is your prediction? Okay, stop one second here. Do we have enough data now yeah. for a prediction? Your prediction would be if you take another W matrix and you would just put in three random values. And then you would calculate the same thing again. Okay, wait. That we just did okay. for our W value. Okay, but wait. Are do we have enough information now that if we give this an X, it can spit out a Y that's a very bad approximation to our original data? Uh, mm, no, we would. Okay, we don't have that yet. So just just make a different matrix uh, with three random values, maybe like match two. And then you would do the same thing. You would multiply x with mat2, put oh. the sigma function, and okay. this would be your prediction. And then you want to minimize the error. Okay, so wait. The prediction is based on the mat. It's based on mat. No, mat we want to find. Right. But yes, that's our ground truth. Okay, so our loss function depends on the matrix we put in. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. But the loss just but loss is just L of Y and Y tilde or whatever. So just our between our prediction and uh, the true value, and we just generated the true value. So usually in the, in the case you would have your X data which we generated, and the true Y values which we just generated. Okay. But we would not have the metric met. I'm confused again. So okay. So, so you would have like 
data and temp132, and you want to find this magical metric. You can just call it mat2 and then put in three random values. Okay, so and you want to create, so hang on, you want to create a new matrix, is that correct? Yes, yes. Do yes. you want it to have purely random values, or do you want to give it some number? No, you can just do, do purely random. This would be like the weights of the neural network if you want to find. Okay, right, the, the matrix, we're trying to find the perfect matrix, right? Yes, we know the p perfect matrix. That's, that's because then you want to test your algorithm because you're like, oh, does, does my gradient descent works? Or again, I'm, you're totally yeah. losing me again. We're trying to find a matrix that will help us predict y from x. Yes. Okay. And our one of our guess matrices was this one here, mat equals, was our first guess. No. no. That's, our, that's our ground truth. That's the, we use this for data generation because we generated... Um, Data. Usually, you would also add some noise to your. Okay. To your My stuff. data is totally that random to begin good. with, though. But see, I'm still confused. Our input data is our input data. We can't control that. No, we, uh, usually we don't. We would not know this. You know, data and temp one three five two. Okay. So what are, what are we doing now? I've now created. No, you con con the data two times match to. Okay. And sigmoid of this. This would be our prediction. Okay. So let's go ahead and create some more temporary variables. So data two times mat two, are you saying? Yes. Okay. Because we just let's take a look at that. Now this is going to change each time because it's because it literally is random. Oh yeah, you should. I don't know. Initialize it and then. Uh, I okay. Mean we have to change them. So, so give me, give me, give me some random. If you want, I can generate three random numbers and just use them. Do you want me to do that? Yes, you can. Okay, give me one second here. Um, yeah, ten, 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 oh. Okay, so can I use, hey, wait, hang on. So is it okay if we use these as our random numbers from now on? Point nine one three. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I don't like, this is being silly and putting them in a way that Mathematic understands that no one else understands. Okay. So, all right. So, is, are we now going to look at our data too? So we have another matrix, and we're going to look. Now, do you want to apply the sigmoid function to this? Yes. Okay. I would actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, we. So we take this value of datas, and we're going to apply the sigmoid function to it. We're going to cheat a little bit by doing it all in one step. So the sigmoid values are now these. Yeah, this would be our prediction, I guess. I'm just taking a look at the This is our prediction of y for the 100 values of x. Yes. X. Okay. Yes, and then we need to calculate. Well, the error would the just be. Okay, so I think the error would just be then temp 1410. Oh, hang on. We just have the y values, right? We have both, yeah. So these are the y values corresponding to 1, 2, 3, 4, so on? I guess. Okay, you gotta help me out here, man. Yeah, 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 this is like, yeah, we used, used a different matrix. Yes, yeah, this would be our prediction. For, for y. And then we would. For yeah, y so we when minimize. x is equal to 1, 2, yeah. 3, 4, is that correct or no? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's correct if, uh, if uh, all from x are sizes. Um, okay. Hmm. So how do we now, so do you want, okay, first of all, our data is random each time. Is that not a good thing? No, we should just generate it once and then keep okay. it. Okay, I agree. So hang on one second while we do that. That was a mistake on my part. Ah, okay. here, here it is. Here it is. Okay, now, now I have it here. Okay. So let me go ahead and generate this data just once. Uh, oh, this is our data. So let me go ahead and put this data in here. That's ah, pretty ugly. There should be a way of actually hiding the data. I mean, hiding the um, 
the display of the data here because it's really long and it doesn't really add anything to this, but I don't know what that is, so we're kind of stuck with it. Okay, so we have our data now, fixed data. Let's go ahead and do this again. And I think I see what you're going for, but I don't really see it yet. Okay, so... Yes, we need to calculate the... We need to minimize the error be between... So the these between are... Our these are our predictions for x equals 1 through x equals 100. Is that correct? Uh, what are the predictions? Yes, the second one are all predictions, yes. Uh, for mm -hmm. x equals and 1 through x equals 100, one step at a time, right? Yes. You don't sound confident. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of switching around. But yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we now have the true values, the true values. We know these are the, the y's, and we have all predictions. Let me go ahead and make a matrix out of just, I mean, a, a mm -hmm. you know, just the y values. And let's see if we can get that correctly. So this is just the y values here. Uh, this is out 88. This, these are just the y values. And now you want to subtract the two. Is that correct? Uh, we could, but we are not subtracting them. OK, you don't want to subtract them our then. Our loss is, uh, which one is actually which one? It's y, mm -hmm. <laughs> lot of y of our prediction plus one minus y lot of one minus y of prediction. Let me go ahead and, go ahead. do you have a name for this function? Yeah, this is a pretty strange loss function, but I think if you look at the better distribution and you take the okay, loss. Okay, that's fine. I'm asking you, the so let's call this the loss. The normalizing stop, stop, stop. So we're going to try to create, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to create a loss function that takes in two variables, yes. is that correct? Yes. Okay. It takes our... Guess <laughs> and a real value, correct? Yes, that's true. Now go ahead, what is it? Yes. Tell me what good. it is. Very good. Okay, I just look at the slides here. And I'm pretty sure it's from the better function. It is... Which one is one? Uh, which is, is y hat our prediction? Let's just tell the... Oh yeah, y hat is our prediction. Okay, it's y times log of our prediction y. Uh huh. Plus one minus y times log of one minus prediction y. So is this correct? Where guess is our prediction and. And real is the actual value. Oh yeah, it's lagging behind. I guess that's fine. It's still typing, but I think. Otherwise, I guess you have to look at the beta distribution. What's beta distribution? Is this one, which one works for more than one? Um, the beta style? distribution has two parameters, alpha and beta. And this is the one with n over n choose car p times minus. That's for if movie. You, if you sh it should, if you take take the beta distribution. I think it was beta distribution. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm talking bullshit. Ben that that ben is my guess. Yes, that is Dennis Bernoulli. Yes, 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 Bernoulli. So it's both with P. Yeah, that's Bernoulli is the one that is, is, is the number, yeah, that's a, that's yes, a one parameter. Yes. Uh, that's, that's, that's why you studied math, yes. yes. If you look at the Bernoulli distribution <laughs> and, you, and you take the log and you discard the normalizing constant, then I, I'm pretty confident this is how they came up with this one. Actually, in the lecture, they don't tell you. Okay. But if you kind of develop a, a Bayesian model, um, okay. then... Uh, I'm going to tell you something. I, I think I've been going now for about, uh, yeah, eight seconds short of two hours. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Okay. I want to stop right now. No offense, but um, I don't yeah, think this is helping. Uh, if you want to, do you have time later today, or do you want to? Do you want to schedule? Do you Maybe, want me to just? Yeah. Do you want to schedule something, or do you want me to just bug you when I when I when I can? Yeah, you you can just bug me. I'm not Chinese, so I guess. So I'll bug um, you at a random yeah. point in time. So 
So, and then you just sum them all up and divide by number of examples. And this is what you want to minimize. So you can just calculate the gradients for your W matrix. No, 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 we're gonna stop now. I actually understood, <laughs> I actually understood what you said. You're gonna take each pair guessed and real, yeah. compute the loss function, add them up, divide, and then take the average, basically. Yes, yes, and this is what you want to minimize. But we're not going to do and that now. We're going to stop now. Okay. And if we, if we come yeah. back, if I come back, if anyone comes back, yes, yes, we will do yes. this other thing that you're talking about. Okay, goodbye for now to you. Yeah, thanks. Bye. I think so. Okay. God, I hope this doesn't sound like me just talking to empty air. And I'm going to say goodbye now to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Um, God, I hope this, I don't know. I can't even say I hope you learned something because I don't think you did. All right, bye for now.